Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to make this amigurumi baby duck using chenille yarn. The materials you will need to make this plushy duck are chenille yarn in white and orange, 4.5 mm uh, crochet hook, uh, one a strand of black embroidery floss for eyebrows, a yarn needle, black safety eyes and polyester fiber fill stuffing. You also need some medium weight uh, acrylic yarn for the fluffy hair on top of the head. The crochet stitches you will use in this tutorial are the magic ring, single crochet, half double crochet, chain, increase, invisible decrease and a slip stitch. I start by making the top of the head. I am using white yarn for that so I am going ahead and start by making a magic ring with 6 single crochets. Then I tighten my ring and mark my last stitch with a stitch marker. In the second round, I am going to do 6 increases into each stitch of round 1, for a total of 12 stitches. Increase stitch means that you do 2 single crochet stitches together into the same stitch. After the last stitch, I put my stitch marker and continue with the third round. In the third round, I do a single crochet in the first stitch, then I increase in the second and I repeat it six times to have 18 stitches in total. In the fourth round, I do two single crochets, then I do an increase and I repeat it six times uh, all around to have 24 stitches in total. In the fifth round, I do 24 single crochets. In round 6, I do 3 single crochets, and then I do an increase and I repeat it 6 times all around to have 30 
stitches in total. In round 7, I do 30 single crochets. In round 8, I also do another 30 single crochets. In round 9, I do 3 single crochets, then I do an invisible decrease. For an invisible decrease, you take 2 front loops and pull the yarn through, then yarn over. Uh, there are many great tutorials on invisible decrease on YouTube, so if you are a beginner, you can learn from those uh, great videos. I continue doing 3 single crochets and 1 invisible decrease for 6 times for a total of 24 stitches. On round 10, I do two single crochets and an invisible decrease. I repeat the process six times for a total of 18 stitches. In round 11, I do one single crochet and one invisible decrease. I repeat the process six times for a total of 12 stitches.
Now I fill the head and attach the safety eyes between the rounds 6 and 7, 4 stitches apart. On round 12, I do 4 single crochets and 1 invisible decrease. I repeat the process 2 times for a total of 10 stitches. On round 13 to 19, I do 10 single crochets in each round. In round 20, I do 4 single crochets, then I do an increase and I repeat it 2 times all around to have 12 stitches in total. In round 21, I do one single crochet then I do an increase and I repeat it six times all around to have 18 stitches in total In round 22, I do two single crochet, then I do an increase and I repeat it six times all around to have 24 stitches in total. In round 23, I do 24 single crochets.
In round 24, I do three single crochet, then I do an increase and I repeat it six times all around to have 30 stitches in total. In round 25, uh, I do 30 single crochets. In the round 26, I also do another 30 single crochets. In round 27, I do three single crochets and an invisible decrease. I repeat it six times for a total of 24 stitches. In round 28, I do two single crochets and an invisible decrease. I repeat it six times all around for a total of 18 stitches. In round 29, I do one single crochet and one invisible decrease. I repeat the process six times for a total of 12 stitches.
Now fill the body and fill the neck only slightly so that it would be flexible. In round 30, I do 6 invisible decreases to have 6 stitches in total. Now I cut the yarn and close the hole. Now we move on to make the beak. Uh, I'm using orange yarn for the beak so I'm going ahead and start by making a magic ring with 6 single crochets. Then I tighten my ring and mark my last stitch with a stitch marker. In the second round I'm going to do a single crochet and one increase and I repeat it three times uh, to have a total of nine stitches. In the third round, I do two single crochets, then I do an increase and I repeat it three times all around to have 12 stitches in total. In the fourth round, I do 12 single crochets and that's it. Now I cut the yarn and sew the beak on the face.
Now we move on to making the wings. In the first row we chain 3. In second row we do two single crochet then we chain one and we turn our work and start with our third row. In the third row uh, we do two increases to half four stitches then we chain one and turn the work. In the fourth row, uh, we do four single crochet, then we chain one and turn the work. In the fifth row, uh, we do four single crochet, then uh, we chain one and turn the work. In row 6 uh, we do 4 single crochet then we chain 1 and turn the work. In row 7 uh, we do two invisible decreases. If it's hard for you to do the decreases with a four and a half millimeter hook, you can use a smaller hook to do your decreases. Now repeat the steps uh, to make another wing. Now cut the yarn and close the chain and sew the wings uh, to the body. For the feet, uh, we start by making a magic ring with six single crochets. In second round we do one single crochet and one increase and repeat it three times to have nine stitches in total. In third round we do nine single crochets.
In round four, we do two single crochet and one increase and repeat it three times to have 12 stitches in total. In round 5, we put the edges together and crochet them together. First, we do two half double crochets in the first stitch. Both half double crochets should be in one stitch. Then, we do a slip stitch in the next stitch. Then, we do two half double crochets in the next stitch. then another slip stitch and at last another two half double crochets in the last stitch and cut the yarn Repeat the process to make the other foot, now sew the feet to the body. For the fuzzy hair at the top of the head, I use medium acrylic yarn. I just cut some threads and tie them on top of the stitches, uh, on the stitches on the top, uh, as you can see, and then 
open the threads to have this kind of fuzzy look. Then I use my black embroidery thread to make eyebrows. So here is the final result. I hope you like your little dog. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next tutorial.